here. Welcome to episode three here of the Baja broadcast. Today we're gonna we're gonna show you a few things about uh, trailer hitches. Yeah. Whether that's a U-Haul, whether that's a quad ATV, four by four. And the main ingredient here in the episode today, besides uh, you know the standard uh, Swiss Army knife, which we'll get to, is your friendly can of WD-40. Um, WD-40, if you don't know. Um, is named, I mean lots of people think it's named after Willem Dafoe, uh, the actor, or, or Willie D, the rapper, but actually, um, you know, WD, um, I like to call it White Dude 40, you know, white dudes who are 40 really like using it. I'm getting close to 40, I sure do love my WD-40. WD-40 was originally invented to uh, displace water, water displacement, and uh, it was used to displace water specifically on large armaments in um, in, in war times. Um, so really, uh, WD-40, you can thank for you know supporting um, war crimes for that for for hundreds of years. And uh, but here we're not going to commit a war crime. Um, luckily, we're going to just um, commit a crime of, of leisure. Um, when I got it, I, I thought that the hitch was, um, you know, welded, welded in. But if I look a little bit closer, you can see actually it's just rusted in. If you can see there, it's just rusty. A little dark here tonight, but you know, you get the idea. And I think the, the first step today, and this will be an ongoing video, might take weeks, might take months. Hell, it could take a year if, if depending on how much rust there is, but knowing our, our handy WD and water displacer, the 40 is for the 40th uh, attempt, which is a, a good lesson for Baja users is that, you know, if you, you know, if you, you try something that doesn't work, you, you just try, try again. 40 times, they eventually got it right. And we all know that WD-40 is about the perfect solution to everything. So, you know, you get it, you know, I don't know if you're supposed to shake it, you probably should read that, but, oh yeah, that says shake well, who knows, sometimes these little icons, who knows what that means, it means maybe if you shake it, it explodes and you die, but this time it says shake well. We're going to try to spray the, this around there, and we're just going to, you know, do that every day for maybe a week and see where it goes, so you can watch, there's a little straw there, you can put it on for cleaner, cleaner and more precise use, you know, but what, what do you need? So just spray it real good. Some people, um, you know, like the smell of WD-40. If, if I could, I'd probably get a candle that smelled like WD-40, but I don't know if they make those. You know, I'm just spraying the pin, spraying where the, the ball hitch enters here. I'm gonna keep spraying it. You know, it might drip on your on your driveway, and if it's not your driveway, and it's your, you know, it's your, your neighbor's driveway, or, you know, your, your landlord's driveway you might want to be careful about that and I didn't think about that I would have maybe laid some cardboard down sorry sorry roommates about that one but um, it's it'll wash off in a rainy temperate uh, temperature like we're at right now so we'll come back to here we'll spray it again soon we'll uh, we'll take a take a tool to see if we can get this lodged out welcome to day two here we're just gonna do another layer so I got this oil spill container here you see the previous spill there as we we're talking about before don't want to upset your neighbors put that there since it's clear you can see exactly where to locate it if you haven't moved the vehicle and I just, as I read yesterday remember you gotta shake shake well I see some of that leftover residue from yesterday and uh, we're just gonna go for it again here see now it drips in there no problems no increased rent no eviction notice you know no lost friendships I don't know what you can see, but definitely hear the hear that, and boy, I wish you could smell it. And the other benefit of this is, you know, you collect that uh, WD-40 <clears throat> juice, and you know, you can make your own candle. Like I said, you don't need to buy that candle; make it yourself. So that's day two. Also, also, just wanted to give a shout out to this young individual who's, you know, doing a great. Great job painting these lines. I think that's another thing to consider when you're spilling water to placer 40 and cleaning it up. Is how it might affect, um, you know, future work on that 
on that on that territory. Um, you wouldn't want to make this young person's life any more difficult than it already is. Here we are, day three, water displacer 40 spray. You know, keep doing it. Getting a little bit of water displacer on the camera, but that's okay because cameras don't like water. Next tool, your hammer. You know, just gonna kind of bang it around here. You know, some rust might come out. So you gotta kind of bang it. Bang it out of here, you know. See this pin? That's really, that's really what's gotta come out here. You know, it's moving. I don't know if you can see. It's bending. It's not necessarily a good thing. It's wiggling more than it was. And, you know, that would be step one is banging this out. And then banging another thing out. As you can see, I got the pin banged out. We're going to try to bang out this, uh, this other pin. You know, keep it banging. Nothing so far. You know, it's just not budging. They have five, I think, have maybe slightly bigger hammer. Marginally. Still not going anywhere. Yeah, welcome back here. Uh, this has proven to be a bit of a tough customer. Uh, I stopped recording all of the times I was spraying WD-40 and hammering this pin out because uh, hell, even I was getting bored. And as we all know, this is supposed to be an entertainment video. Um, so couldn't get much done. So I determined that the best avenue would be to uh, text dad. Um, I recommend that you do that if you're if possible and, and if not possible for whatever reason um, an uncle works or um, you know I'll offer the services of my dad uh, and we'll post his phone number here below uh, you can text him anything about any car at any time he'll probably get back to you within 48 hours and what his suggestions were was a some some form of heat and a pipe wrench which I'll show you here shortly. But before I get underway, uh, I'm just going to change out of my, my work, my, my dress attire here into my, my work attire. Just because you want to get your good clothes dirty, you know. Um, okay, so, um, I've, uh, I myself have never used one of these machines, but I bought one for about $22 or thereabouts and um, you know it's only one way to figure out how to do it I mean it can't be that difficult and uh, there's only one knob on it I don't have anything flammable within within sight at all so we're just gonna we're gonna see what happens here and um, we're gonna start this puppy up what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna try to heat the area around the pin uh, because physics states that heat expands metal, similar to ice, I mean, when you freeze ice. And um, we just hope that in that process we don't um, uh, heat up the pin, because then the pin will expand and we'll be in the same position, potentially even more stuck than we were before. Um, and as you can see here, uh, I have a uh, pipe wrench fit to the pin with a little bit of leverage that I will be cranking. Um, and you can see I bought it for five dollars there again at your um, local restore um, again Habitat for Humanity um, really tackling to substantively end homelessness um, one one pipe wrench at a time um, so let me grab the rest of my tools here and we'll give her a go oh okay, here we go you can hear that hissing probably means it's good oh actually No, that's right. 
I think there's a fire extinguisher that way. Can't see it, but hell, that's that's a hot flame. This is where you want to use your Baja hat to tuck your hair back so you don't melt that. Melted my finger hairs the other day pulling some cauliflower out of the oven, so... I mean, they do say that WD-40 is flammable. And let me tell you, this is about as doused as you could possibly get. But again, nothing flammable within, within any reach. And somewhere in the world, there's a fire extinguisher for us. So, so just going to heat this up a little bit. No idea how much. You know, when you get into flames, you just, you don't need to prepare much. You just kind of go based on feel, as we have been for, since, you know, since the North American man invented flame. Um, so I don't know what this is doing. You know, there's some nice colors. That's, so that's pretty cool. And um, so we're heating up around, you know, let's call that good. Let's just give it a good swing or two here with this full-size hammer. And pull on this beauty wrench. As you can see, this fine job here that someone did of um, some wiring just kind of came loose. And you know, you don't want to start that on fire. I'm just going to carefully, you know, get out of the way here briefly. See there, there's all sorts of ways to get this kind of work done. So. You know, you know that that Baja is one tough customer. When the pin breaks your breaks your pipe wrench. So I mean, we tried, we we tried everything about forty times, just like the inventor of water displacer forty. Haven't quite got there. Just means we can't take our bikes on a bike rack borrowed from a friend. Um, this weekend on our on our local trip um, and you know what sometimes even tips from dad don't make sense and I guess that's that's a good, a good time as any to announce to the listeners and audience of Baja Broadcast that I will in fact be moving the Baja Broadcast production closer um, to my dad for uh, such purposes and a lot of the future filming of the Baja broadcast will take place in Saskatchewan. If you have any questions about that, you just feel free to DM me. And I, I think that's good for today. We'll post more if we end up getting through this, this work job here. Um, please remember to subscribe, like, and if you want uh, my dad's phone number, feel free to just comment and I'll send it your way. Thank you very much and uh, see you next time. Thank you.